Okay, this lesson we're going to look at the consequences of urbanisation and to be able to explain the positive and negative consequences of urbanisation. That's what I want you to achieve by the end of this lesson. So I want you to be able to explain what a consequence is and then know the difference between economic, social and environmental. Um, so when we're talking about consequences, it's a result of something. So when we've got this sudden rush of people um, moving from urban to rural areas, sorry, vice versa, from um, rural to urban areas, um, that mass migration that's happened over the last sort of 50 years, this is the sum of the results. We get lots of people living in very, very poor conditions. Now, I want you to remember from last year, from last lesson, this is not just in developing countries it's happened in developed countries but we've had time to adjust this is one of my photos that i took from when i went to vietnam um, with the school a few years ago along the mekong you can see people literally living in any spare space and building houses out of anything they can find if you look closely we've got bits of bamboo we've got bits of tin um, the roofs aren't fully um, built there's bits of tile um, so this is what we're talking about. This is what a consequence is. It's overcrowding. It's overpopulation. There's too many people for the services around. That's what overpopulation is. And as a result, you can see that we've got some social issues. Um, you know, sort of people living really um, close together. You've got environmental issues. If you look at the pol uh, pollution of the river, and also we've got some um, economic. Obviously, these people are quite poor. These are some facts about urbanisation. Um, as a result, as a consequence of urbanisation, this rapid urbanisation, this rapid movement of people, we have what's called megacities. Now, megacities are cities with a very, very high population, over 10 million. We don't have them in Australia. A megacity has a population of over 10 million. When we talk about 10 million people, we're talking about Sydney and Melbourne, um, all living together in one city. So that's a consequence of um, urbanisation, megacities. In Asia, um, over 45 million people every year move from rural to urban areas. That's almost a double the population of Australia moving from um, rural to urban areas every single year. In 1990, there were 10 megacities, mega now there are over 29. Um, almost 454, um, sorry, 453 million people worldwide live in mega cities. So when we talk about consequences, we not only have um, more people living in urban areas, but these urban areas have become mega cities, not just cities, but mega cities. Um, tremendous amount of people moving. And um, as I've said before, um, developed countries have had time to cope with this change. Countries in Asia which are developing, rapidly developing, they don't have the time to cope with it. And as a result, we have some pretty significant um, consequences. We can split these um, consequences into three. Economic, which is to do with money. Social, which is to do with people. And environmental. What we must remember, though, is that although these consequences might seem quite bad, um, there, there are some positives. Um, remember, a lot of people are moving out of poverty. Um, it, pe more people are getting education. So, um, you know, more people are reading and writing. So, adult literacy rates are improving. So, although we might judge some of those slum areas as looking nasty, um, quite negative, there are some positives, and we shouldn't be we shouldn't judge people on um, the way they live. Okay, that's consequences.